She's dead. Was Adam in the car? Was he hurt? I don't know. Well, didn't the police tell you? They said he was hurt. And? You're totally incapable of respecting anyone's privacy. I'm his father. So you keep saying over and over again. And I need to know what happened. Perhaps I can help. You can, by leaving us alone. I can't do that. Leave us! I'm as gutted about this as you are! Oh, will you stop it? Both of you! This is hardly the time. Did the police say which hospital they were in? Yeah. Oh. Preston General. The thing we do is get up there as fast as we can. Peter Barlow. Yeah. I'm Dr. Hughes. This is PC Warner. Uh, this is my father and uh, his partner. How is he? How's the boy? Can we? Is he alive? Yes. And who are you? Mike Baldwin, Susan's ex, the boy's father. H can we see him? Yes, shortly. Uh, his injuries are not critical. Uh, as you know, they were in a car accident this afternoon. Unfortunately, the woman believed to be Susan Barlow sustained fatal head and chest injuries and was pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. I'm very sorry. Do we know what caused the accident? Was anyone else involved? I mean, when did it all happen? Miss Barlow's car apparently crashed into a fence around four miles from the junction 32 of the M6. It was reported by a passing motorist at around 3.15 this afternoon. Nobody knows how long she was there or exactly what happened. It's a busy stretch of road. She wouldn't have been there very long without being noticed. The scene of the incident has obviously been examined very carefully. The boy, though, how is he? I mean, what are his injuries? Uh, we're still doing tests. Tests? What sort of tests? Exactly what sort of injuries are we talking about? He had a bump on the head, fracture of the left arm, concussion, cuts and bruises. He's in with the consultant now. Can we see him? Soon. Does he know about his mother? No. He was unconscious when he arrived. I hate to have to mention this, but I will need someone to identify the body. Of course. I don't know why we're still here. There's nothing we can do. I want to make sure that Adam's all right. You heard what the doctor said. Yeah, but I want to see him with my own eyes. Any more word on Adam? Not yet, no. You realise uh, one of us has got to tell him, don't you? How do you tell a 12-year-old boy that he's just lost his mother? It's not a prospect I'd relish. Nor me. Well, I'll tell him if you want. And then what are you going to say when he asks who the hell you are? You're going to tell him, are you? Oh, it's a stupid idea, I know, but I... I just thought at least he'd realise he's got one parent left. To completely screw him up. Mike, I don't think now's the time or the place. No. No, you're right. It's just... I'll tell him. The, uh, tests have all been done and Adam's back on the ward. Can we see him? Um, he's asleep. I think it's probably best not to wake him. Well, can we just see him? We won't wake him. It really would mean a lot. Sure. Just give me a minute. Then what? Do we... Do we just go home? I think we should, don't you? Well, I'm staying here. All night? I want to be here when he wakes up. Yeah, so do I. I may love you.
Hi, a big man. How are you feeling? My arm hurts. What happened? You were in an accident, but you're going to be okay. Where's Mum? Mum. Peter. I can't do it, Dad. I, I, I can't. It's okay, fine, fine. It's okay. No, it's all right. I'll do it. I'll do it. Adam. Your mum was very badly injured in the accident. So badly that the doctors couldn't save her. She died. So... Uh, can I sit down? Do you want me to get you anything? I want to watch the telly. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, there you go. What a to do? Uh, definitely hasn't sunk in yet. He's still behaving like nothing's happened. Uh, he's probably still in shock. I'm surprised the hospital let him out so quickly. Mind, they probably needed his bed. Well, I gave her some pills in case he had trouble sleeping. And are you sure you've done the right thing, bringing him back here? You can hardly take him home, could we? And Peter's flat's tiny. I suppose. To be honest, I don't think it matters where he is, as long as he's with people who care about him. He's asleep. <sighs> Good. Uh, I was thinking we're going to have to ring his school in the morning. Tell him he won't be in for a few days. Yeah, likewise with Susan's employers. M6, Preston, I wonder where they were going. Oh, I don't know, maybe they were coming here, eh? Maybe. And we're gonna have to start uh, thinking about making uh, arrangements. So I, I still can't believe that this has happened. No, uh, me neither. Look, you, uh, you go home and get a rest. You're gonna need to keep your strength up. No, Dad, I, I won't sleep. I mean, I'd, I'd sooner just stick around here if that's all right. Yeah, of course, of course. Have you got any beer in? Yeah, in the fridge, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> come on, love, come on. <laughs> Why? Why has this happened? I don't know, love, I don't know. <laughs> Thirty-five years old. Well, finally getting close after all these years. <laughs> all those years that I wasted. <laughs> why, did, why did I let her life slip away? <laughs> if I only had known how little time I had, how little time she had. Ken, none of us knows how much time we've got. There is nothing you or anyone else could have done. Oh, but there is. I could have been a decent father. I could have made time for her. <laughs> she grew up barely knowing me. <laughs> she died barely knowing me. 